faith, grace, love, connection is righteous. Well, howdy, folks. This is Stephen Detweiler, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. It's going to be a different year for sure, and we're transitioning from 2023 into 2024, and that's what we're going to talk about because that's the last of about six or seven words the Lord gave me about 2024. It's something that back in July, I was telling my friend Stan, I said, look, I'm I give, the Lord gives me a word for the next year, usually between July and Rosh Hashanah, and I'm like, you know, even though I'm pretty much, you know, hear from God, because every year is pretty much spot, except for the two years I put out political um, words, which didn't, which I missed it totally, bomb, and I don't do political things uh, anymore. I don't do those, but when I'm hearing from the Lord about certain premises and directions of where the body of Christ is gone, where the world's gone, blah, 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 uh, pretty spot on, but I was like, ah, you know what, I'm not doing that this year, and then next thing you know, I've gotten a, since, since right around Rosh Hashanah, I have had a lot of things being shown to me about 2024, and one is great transitions and I and so this week I'm gonna go through the different prophetic words that the Lord has given me about 2024 and into the future because we're in a decade of some really uh, challenging things happening some real big changes happening and we actually hit that decade in 2020 so we're in 20 going into 2024 um, there's great things about that's a kingdom number, okay? Twelve foundations, twelve gates, um, and that's another word. And I have to put that down is um, we need if you're going to experience the open door, the open gates of the kingdom of heaven this year, then you have to have yourself firmly planted on your foundation the foundations of the apostles what was the apostles foundation the word of God so I guess I have to get into that one too because that was just he was just talking to me about that um, uh, today actually and uh, that was running through my spirit today is if we're going to experience and I got to go through uh, I got to get to this this, the things of God are so cool, and so let's let's just get into this. We're going to go through the different words this week, and we're going to put it all together, and we're going to see how this year plays out. I'm hoping, which is the ending of this one, that the ending of this one is what we're going to experience. 2024, noticeable transitions, great and small. This word for 2024 is the latest on that which the Lord has given me until now about the gates and the, and the foundations. But before that, transitions, transitions, noticeable transitions in 2024. Noticeable transitions, great and small. Transitions of a global scale. Transitions in individual lives. There's transitions in the church, as 2023 has seen many of the senior leaders from Jack Hayford to Pat Robertson to Charles Stanley transition to heaven. The church is experiencing the transition of leadership as a new senior generation is transitioning into place. Families will transition, jobs will transition, Individuals, I'm talking about companies are going to transition things, which is going to affect individuals. Individual lives, you're going to transition from one thing to another. Look for it, prepare for it, and walk through it. Some transitions come with great upheaval, including wars and chaos. This is the second word about wars and chaos. Um, the very first one, which we're going to get to this week, um, expresses that, which actually was given 
just six days before the attack on Israel from Hamas, which uh, 2024 there will be more, there will be more increase, there will be more war, which is the first stanza of the poem. Some transitions come with great upheaval, including wars and chaos. Some transitions are smooth. We'll just pray for that, those transitions, the smooth ones. But most transitions have a scope of uncertainty and fear. But don't be in dismay. Keep your focus on Jesus and you will see everything with faith bringing, clear, bringing clarity this year. But don't be in dismay. Keep your focus on Jesus and you will see everything with faith bringing focused clarity this year. Be ready to transition in whatever way it is for you. Be ready to transition in whatever way it is for you. Walk through it with the spirit of love, peace, joy, and good cheer. For these are the aspects of the king and his kingdom where there is no fear. Be of good courage. Your transition is here. Now for me, just me looking at the timing, and you know I've been pressing in this since 2022. Uh, be ready to transition with King Jesus in the catching away of the church. I'm saying be prepared, be prepared, because this is happening. The transition of the catching away of the church is happening. The transition with King Jesus in the catching away of the church. Is it this year? In this year of noticeable transition? I'm ready for it. Are you? I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.